For today's video, we got some more Fortnite. And in this one, I'm going to go over a bunch of new information that was released in regards to upcoming events. And I'll leave a link to the source in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. Now, the first thing I should point out is that the dates may change, but supposedly there's going to be a new Mutant Storm event coming out tomorrow, January the 25th. And they're also reintroducing the Hydraulics weapon set, which I believe are the same weapons that we got from the very first Survive the Storm event. So it's going to include the Hydra, the Dam Buster, Rocket Launcher, as well as the Piston Spitter and the Nailer and all of the other Hydraulic weapons. So if you missed out on the first Hydra and you were wanting it, then you should be able to get it from the Mutant Storm event that starts tomorrow. There's also going to be another update on the 31st and that update's going to include a new trap called the Cozy Campfire. And just like with Battle Royale, I believe this campfire is going to heal your teammates and it's also going to heal defenders as well. And I know a lot of people have been wanting ways to heal their defenders. So this cozy campfire is going to be one way you can do that. And in order for it to heal your teammates, they're going to have to be close to it, I believe. So yeah, expect to see a new cozy campfire trap on the 31st. They also plan on improving the expeditions as well by allowing you to recover people from your expeditions as well as a couple of other fixes and as for the valentine's day event that's going to begin on february the 7th and with the new valentine's event we're going to get a new quest line and it says here a love story told the fortnite way so hopefully we can get some more dialogue from ray there's also going to be valentine's themed heroes as well as a cupid crossbow which i know a lot of y'all requested in my previous Valentine's Day event video. And again, that Valentine's event begins on February the 7th. And yeah, let me know what you think about the new Cupid crossbow. Are you looking forward to using it? I think what I'm going to do is try to save some schematic XP and level up that Cupid crossbow right away because I already know some of y'all want to see gameplay of it. So that'll probably be the first thing we do. It also said that there's a new reactive quest type, which I'm not exactly sure what that means at the moment, but as soon as I find out, I'll be sure to let you all know. And there's also going to be a Spring It On event on February the 14th. And it says that the week one of the Spring It On quest line is going to be released on the 14th. So I'm assuming that's going to be like a continuous quest line. And it also said that there's going to be some new event store items as well. And again, that's on the 14th. They also mentioned that they're going to be changing some of the music that's in the game and they're also going to have an opt-in difficulty increase for greater challenge and rewards. And again, as soon as I find out more information about that, I'll be sure to let you all know. And the last update that they mentioned is the update that's going to come out on February the 21st. And that's the one where they're going to be making changes to stamina and player movement as well as quest map improvements. And that's when they're going to begin week two of the Spring It On quest line. And there's also going to be new event store items. Also on that February 21st patch, we should also be able to access our inventory from the main screen and craft from the main screen as well. So yeah, they basically released a roadmap for the next month. Let me know what you think about the Valentine's themed heroes as well as the Cupid crossbow. Let me know what you think about the new cozy campfire trap as well as the new Spring It On event, which is gonna have a quest line every week for at least two weeks. Let me know what you think about all of this new information in the comments below. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.